This dog is too dangerous right now for me to handle alone. Bring Junior. Junior. I'm bringing in Junior because his calm energy would affect Rocky. Settle him down, Junior. And then I can try to get a leash on him. There you go. Backing down, he retrieved. So we're gonna take over his territory. Stay. No, that's, that's, that's the real dog right there. That's the real dog. If you study his bark, it's a very frantic bark. Normal dogs don't bark this frantic. They don't need. A dog that is very secure of himself don't need to overdo it. Come on, Junior. Let's just take it slow. A frantic dog in this aggressive state can be very dangerous because it can be very unpredictable. I need to get a leash on him so I can gain some control of him. You have my broom. Caesar uses a broom to create a barrier for some extra space. Go, go. Stay. <sighs> the broom helped to distract Rocky from me when I approach into his space. When I accidentally dropped the leash, <sighs> thankfully Junior was there. So I remove Junior's leash, and I use that because I have to get control of the situation. As soon as Caesar has Rocky safely on the leash, he immediately takes the dog from his territory and out onto more neutral ground. See. His biggest thing is not to trust men, so the only way he can actually learn to trust men is if a man gain his trust. <laughs> 